The astronomical dilemma is perfect. You've probably heard about the discovery of six ancient galaxies whose astonishing mass contradicts the standard cosmological model. Until now, experts had hoped that these seemingly impossible formations might turn out to be something else. However, the James Webb Telescope has detected another galaxy that is even older and equally massive. Consequently, researchers must admit that their understanding of physics is insufficient to explain the nature of the early universe. Join us on this cosmic journey. A serious problem has emerged. The JWST proves that objects exist that are older than the universe. But what does this mean for the big picture? Does this imply that the Big Bang Theory has finally had its day? And if so, how could the cosmos have come into being? When the James Webb Telescope launched into the vast expanse of space on December 25th, 2021, its mission was as simple as it was profound, to revolutionize our knowledge of the universe. Less than three years after its much acclaimed launch from the Kennedy Space Center, it is already clear that the $10 billion device is fulfilling its mission with flying colors. Specifically designed for infrared astronomy, Webb could theoretically detect the heat of a bumblebee on the moon from Earth. In practice, the highly sensitive infrared optics have already added the earliest active black hole, the morning star of the cosmos, and the oldest known galaxies to the star charts. Consequently, every new Webb discovery also holds new potential for knowledge. But sometimes that knowledge reveals that everything we thought we knew about the structure formation processes in the early universe might be wrong. Experts first became aware of this fact at the beginning of last year. At that time, the James Webb Telescope identified six early galaxies that existed 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, which, strictly speaking, should not exist at all. According to conventional cosmology, these early star clusters should have been quite small and low in mass. However, the universe seems indifferent to our earthly models. The mass of the newly discovered galaxies almost matches that of our Milky Way today. According to the data, all six structures had more than 10 billion solar masses of stars. One of them may have even exceeded the 100 billion solar mass mark. Given this, the lead astronomers from the University of Technology in Melbourne and Pennsylvania State University initially suspected they had made a mistake. Despite all checks and efforts, the data set still turned out to be correct. But why is this such a big problem? The mere presence of these astonishingly massive galaxies overturns virtually all current cosmological models. These models suggest that the first stars formed around 200 to 300 million years after the birth of the universe. And at that time, there simply wasn't enough normal matter to form so many stars in such a short time. There's also the possibility that at least some of these objects were dust-covered black holes. Even in this case, the astronomical crisis would not vanish because it would also mean that there was already significantly more stellar matter in the very young cosmos than previously assumed. And if even one of these galaxies turns out to be real, it would surpass the limits of our understanding of cosmology in detail. Either the density of matter in the early universe would have been two to five times greater than our models postulate, or the galaxies would have grown in a completely unknown manner. As befits the most powerful space telescope of all time, Webb continues to outdo itself. In July 2022, astronomers proudly announced the identification of the earliest known galaxy. Specifically, Glass Z13 existed 300 million years after the Big Bang. Now, Webb has found a new galactic record holder. Researchers, led by Stefano Carniani from the Scuola Normale Superiore in Pisa, have discovered a group of stars that emerged just 290 million years after the creation of the cosmos. Baptized Jade's GS Z13-0, this galaxy existed at a time when, according to common understanding, the first stars had only just begun to form. While this astronomical revelation made headlines in early June, the structure had actually appeared in spring 2023 images taken by the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM. In the corresponding data, experts recognized clear indications of a redshift greater than Z equals 14. To understand why this is groundbreaking, we need to briefly explore cosmological redshift. Different galaxies exhibit various absorption lines in their spectra, with those of distant galaxies showing significantly more redshift. 
However, the cause of the redshift is not the relative motion of the galaxy compared to the observer, but the expansion of space itself. In astronomy, redshift is often specified using the dimensionless quantity z. For example, if the measured redshift was z equals 1, the universe was half its current size at the time the light was emitted. However, redshift alone cannot reveal precisely how the corresponding expansion occurred. And it becomes clear why experts became so suspicious of a redshift of z equals 14 when we consider that the previous galaxy record was z equals 13.2. To reveal the true background of the surprisingly bright structure, the research team used the high-resolution near-infrared spectrograph spec of the James Webb Telescope and found that it has a redshift of 14.32. The so-called Lyman Alpha break, whose position reveals the extent of the redshift, left no doubt that this distant starry world existed around 290 million years after the Big Bang. Yet, this is only half the astronomical truth. The galaxy may have actually formed much earlier. Experts assume that it took around 100 million years to grow to its observed dimensions. It's not only the distance record and the associated early formation of this collection of stars that fascinate scientists, but also the fact that the galaxy must have already been very luminous. According to the experts' evaluations, it must have comprised several hundred million solar masses of stars. Once again, the question arises, how was this even possible? How could such a bright, massive, and large galaxy form in less than 300 million years? This mystery is compounded by the fact that the spectrum contains bright emission lines of hydrogen and oxygen, a surprising finding that indicates several very massive generations of stars had already gone through their life cycles before astronomers observed this galaxy. Ultimately, this unexpected discovery also proves that the previous research picture of a universe with only small, very faint galaxies is outdated. The researchers actually expect this shift in understanding to be further substantiated in the near future. According to them, the James Webb Telescope is likely to detect many more such impossible early galaxies in the coming years. Is the Big Bang Theory still tenable? The discoveries just presented, among others, are causing more and more researchers to question the established Big Bang Theory. A brief reminder, this theory states that space, matter, and time emerged from an original singularity around 13.8 billion years ago. Although the Big Bang is now regarded as astronomical consensus, proven by the detection of cosmic microwave background radiation, even its proponents face several questions to which there are no clear answers. This applies particularly to the how and why. How can it be that 13.8 billion years ago, something was created out of literally nothing? Can something truly form out of nothing at all? And was there a compelling trigger for this, or was it just a coincidence? Stephen Hawking emphasized that even time only began with the Big Bang, so this process could not have been set in motion by something or someone. Equally confusing is the question of uniform radiation and density in the cosmos. No matter in which direction or at what distance we look, similar densities and distributions of galaxies, nebulae, and radiation exist everywhere on a large scale. Conservative experts explain this with cosmic inflation. Other experts build on this assumption and propose chaotic inflation, which suggests that this process only stopped in a few bubble-shaped areas while continuing forever elsewhere. This would mean that a multitude of sub-universes formed in the bubbles, each with its own individual physical laws. Against this background, a fundamental question arises. What if the cosmos does not embody the big picture at all? Moreover, what if another universe existed before ours? In this case, the Big Bang would turn into a big bounce. According to this hypothesis, concepts such as beginning and end are invalid in a cosmic context. What we commonly refer to as the Big Bang was, in fact, nothing more than a cyclical transition. As soon as one universe dies, a new one emerges from it. According to this model, the universe, as part of a multidimensional structure, is subject to an eternal rhythm of collapse and reconstruction. However, this is by no means the only explanation put forward. Apart from the Big Bang theory, the most exciting and controversial theory of origins comes from quantum physics and string theory. Allegedly, experiments have shown that the universe and everything in it does not actually exist. 
In simple terms, what we perceive as a visible universe is merely a flat hologram projected onto a sphere. Consequently, it is possible that we and our reality are the result of a superordinate simulation. What at first sounds like the plot of the next Matrix film can actually be reconciled with the so-called Kardashev scale. This categorization indicates how advanced a civilization is based on its energy use. If there really is a Type 3 civilization capable of harnessing the total power of a full-grown galaxy, it could have succeeded in creating a perfect simulation with the help of a so-called Matryoshka brain. Whether we should really wish to know the truth about our cosmic home in this case, however, is another question entirely, a completely different question. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Share your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.